this time we're going to evaluate some exponential expressions that involve in particular negative exponents. So we're going to do this in a two-step process at this stage because I'm going to use integer exponents. I'm not going to deal with any fractions yet. So let's color them in two different stages. We'll call them the blue stage and the green stage. So in the blue stage, I'm going to move up to the exponent and then in the green stage, I'm going to notice the negative that is in front of the exponent. So in this case, it's a negative two. So the way that we'll deal with this is we'll think of what this number is by going through this two-step process. So the base of the exponential is nine fifths. Notice that the blue arrow looks up at the exponent and notices that its magnitude, its number is two. So to us, that's going to represent squaring. It's going to represent raising to the power of two. So nine fifths times nine fifths would be nine times nine is 81, five times five is 25. So in that first stage, we'd get 81 over 25 is the square of nine fifths. In the second stage, we come around and we notice that the exponent is a negative this time. So we notice the negative exponent. I represent this by next to the negative one mentally. So what the negative one exponent means is reciprocation or multiplicative inverse. So we take the number 81 25ths that we had in the stage before and we take the reciprocal of this which is 25 over 81. And that's the answer to this particular expression. So pause the video, try on your own to see if you can do 7 halves to the power of negative 1. Assuming you've attempted it, we're going to go blue and then we're going to go green. So, 7 halves, first stage is to look at what is the magnitude of the number. And the magnitude of the number is 1. So in the first stage, we'll just be going x to the first power. Raising things to the first power just keeps them the same, so that's 7 halves. Second stage, we look out in front, we notice it's a negative exponent, so I'll put a negative 1 as an exponent on an x to represent that we need to do a reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 7 halves is just 2 sevenths. So that's the final answer on this one. One more challenge problem, bonus, bonus, bonus. Try 3 fourths to the power of negative 3. And blue, green, and assuming you've taken a second out to try this on your own, pausing the video, we start with 3 fourths. The blue indicates this time we need to do a cubing. So let's see, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3, 27. On the bottom, 4 cubed, so 4 times 4 times 4, let me jot this one down here by myself, 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 is 16, and then if we take 4 times 4 times 4, that would be the 16 we already had, times 4, that's 64, so 64 on the denominator, and then the green indicates that we need to reciprocate, reciprocate over so 64 over 27 and that's my final answer.